Lions Den, powered by KCB Bank. First in the den is a dynamic duo presenting their kerosene wick stove aimed at reducing air pollution in our homes. Hello Lions, my name is Kennedy from the Technical University of Mombasa. We are here today asking for 1 million Kenya shillings in return for 15 percent stick. 15? 15. My name is Jared, the technical engineer of the product. I would like to explain how it works. This is a paraffin stove. While it is cooking, you can still refuel it. Then the fuel creeps in from this. This is an inlet pipe inside here. So the one that the lower that is creeping in cools the, the one inside the wick tank so that it doesn't reach the risk of explosion. Okay, actually the product uh, saves 30% of fuel compared to the con conventional stoves. It reduces indoor air pollution. The thermal efficiency is about 60%, kept tested. We can also have it to use both uh, two fuels, both LPG and kerosene. A wick stove designed to save on fuel efficiency whilst enabling refueling during use without the risk of explosion. Will the lions feel the heat and invest? So Kennedy, um, is it on the market already? It's not already on the market. It's not on the market. Yeah, but we have built, uh, pro we have built uh, the product and we have sold all of them. We have pending orders, but we cannot fulfill the pending orders because... How much are you selling it for? Okay, this one is a large size. We'll be selling it for 2,500 Kenya shillings. Okay. It costs about 1,200 to make one. Mm -hmm. But we have a smaller design which costs about 800 shillings to make. And we'll be selling it at about uh, 1,500 shillings. Have you thought of the price you would sell it for if you were selling it wholesale? For the small one, which we are retailing at 1,000, so maybe The one if, that, you, that cost you 800? Yeah, the one will cost 800. You think you could sell it for 1,000? Yeah, 1,000. We'll have an arrangement of the minimum order quantity and then we can reduce the price and negotiate. And the one that um, sells, that you retail for 2,500, what would you sell that for? 2,000 Kenya shillings, but uh, if it takes more quantity, we again reduce it, maybe to 1,800. The entrepreneurs confidently answer all the lion's questions. But can they convince them that their product can succeed in an already saturated market? Any patented technology or anything? This product here is patented. It has a utility model number and it has an industrial design number. Tell us about the competing products in the market. Now the conventional stove, which people believe in their mind is the best, but actually it's not the best. Let's say about 30 shillings. If you put in a conventional stove, you'll cook like a day. But if you put 30 shillings on the, our stove, it will cook for you in two or three days. How many have you made so far? We have made about 10. And then you sold them all? You sold them all. OK. Yeah. Who did you sell them to? Individuals. And why did you stop? Well, One we of... stopped because we could not get uh, to that competition. Like Taskis, they needed like uh, 100 pieces. How long ago did you stop? Now it is. Uh, for years. <laughs> yes, we have to be honest. So gentlemen, between then and now, what has happened? Has anything come to the market that's similar to this? We have not seen one. So what do you call this thing? Trademark is uh, the Kenya Fender Engineering, Engineering Works uh, store. The entrepreneurs show the Lions their trademark utility model paperwork. But have they waited too long to take their product to the next level? Oh, the registration expires in 2016. And the sample does not comply with the specification requirement for material thickness of perforated sleeves. That one was corrected. It was just thickness. Okay, so do you have the certificate which shows it was corrected? Okay, if you remove all the documents, the Kenya Bureau of Standards, there's everything there. But I don't see where it says it was passed. The reason why we have not gone back to them is that uh, we were looking for, for, for that sheet, but we could not get it. We could find some challenges to get it. With large holes in their paperwork, the entrepreneurs face their first hurdle. Can they recover? If you're to make a hundred, what do you need? Okay, at the moment we need dies. We need uh, like uh, spot welding machines, assembling machines. So, so if we have a die, we can subcontract, then we just receive parts and one of the assembling machine. Well, this product is four years old, so uh, the risk is way too high. If this was patented last week, you know, I'd be thinking very differently. Uh, so for that reason, I think I'm out. Yeah. Um, you know, business is not easy, right? Yeah, it's not easy. And just based on the fact that you shelved this for six years, four years, I'm not even sure how long, it sort of makes me wonder, we'll invest in you, and then if things get thick again, you'll shelve it for another four years. So for that okay. reason, I'm out. So I'm, I'm, I'm out because I don't think we have very current data from you. 
maybe one of the other lions will invest. But if I was to invest, I would want to have seen that you have sold a certain amount now. That's the struggle I'm having. So for that reason, I'm out. I, I'm out because I really don't understand anything about gas stoves or whatever. And I think what you need is distribution. Sell him the patent. So I'm in manufacturing. I have the distribution network. I have the marketing, marketing capability, not for Kenya, but for the region. But you're bringing something to me which you've sold 10 pieces of. I'm buying and liking the idea, but you have to understand there's gonna be a lot of hard work put into this. So I'm gonna make you an offer. I'll give you the 1 million, but I want 60% of your business. Darshan Chandaria takes a gamble on the fledgling product but requests a very high equity stake of 60%. The entrepreneurs take a minute to consider. Okay, we think there's something that you have that we don't have. Okay, we're uh, looking at about 40%. I want you to understand something. As much as you feel, okay, 40% is what it, well, where it may be. You want me to help you bring it to life, and to help bring it to life, there must be a very good incentive for me. It can come a little bit now. You know, I thought about it very carefully before I made you. I was listening to you. I'd really like to see it on. Me, me, I'm okay. We have a deal? Mm. We have a deal. The entrepreneurs give away more than half of their business, but partner with manufacturing expert Darshan Chandaria. We only came here for one line, uh -huh. and we are happy Chandaria is there. I think uh, we've got the right line. It, it is past the shelves. I can get it, I can open up all the distribution tools. 60% is too much, but we need the product to be out there to save people. Lion's Den, powered by KCB Bank.